Welcome to this Azure Stack Video Study Guide. Let me do the reading and talking for you. Listen to this once or more while walking a dog, riding on a plane, or just driving to work. The focus of these study points all stem from the stated objectives for the AZ-600 exam, configure and operating a hybrid cloud with Microsoft Azure Stack Hub. Through these videos, I will also cross-reference the Azure Stack videos that were created by Microsoft Azure Stack experts to talk about similar topics that may also map to this new certification. Just look for the YouTube icons throughout these slides, like you see here in the lower right. You can reach any and all of these videos at aka.ms slash azasf videos. Session objectives and takeaways. At the end of this and the rest of the sessions, you should be able to better understand the exam objectives. Those are all listed at aka.ms slash az-600. Those are your key to getting ready. Learn some tips and tricks to augment your learning and learn some real stuff too in the process. This slide deck, which will be made available at aka.ms slash az-600 slides, has multiple animations. So when you're watching the slide deck on your own time, make sure that you view this in full screen because otherwise it may hide important content. There's also the zoom feature which we'll show you on the next slide, which allows you to jump to various topics. The recordings will be made based on these separate topics. But for example, if you are really good at managing identity access, but only need to study managed infrastructure, you could just click on the slide on the tile for managed infrastructure, and that will launch you straight to there. And when that section is complete, it will jump you right back. Also note, I have this link throughout the sessions, aka.ms slash az-600 study guide. This is a most excellent exam preparation blog that was made by Thomas Marr for you. And all the content was based on the links provided in that blog. In this section, let's just talk a little bit about certification. You can find all the information that you want about any Microsoft Azure or any Microsoft certification at aka.ms slash Azure slash learn. And again, the specifics for this one are at aka.ms slash az-600. Candidates for this particular certification should have significant experience managing and operating Azure Stack Hub environments. You should have a strong understanding of Azure in addition to some knowledge of virtualization, networking, and identity management. You need to understand how Azure Stack Hub enables DevOps processes and the hybrid development model. Please note when you go to the aka.ms slash az-600, currently there are no learning paths yet available. And as we mentioned, this study guide from Thomas Moore will hit all the key points on all the exam objectives. And what a bargain this is, folks. All you have to do is just take one exam and you get one expert certification, the Microsoft Certified Azure Stack Hub Operator Associate. The skills measured on this exam will frame out the four modules we will review and help you to get ready to take this exam. They include provide services, implement data center integration, manage identity and access, and manage infrastructure. The exam objectives will tell you categorically what will be on the AZ-600. If you didn't go through and review these, you just really can't be ready, unless you have simply been there and done that day-to-day -day operating an Azure Stack Hub. But even then, there are often topics on the exams which some people may just never get their hands on. By reviewing the exam objectives, you can quickly determine the things to look for that are familiar to you versus those that are foreign. If they're foreign to you, then those are the topics you will need to study in the docs or else get hands on an Azure Stack integrated system or an Azure Stack development kit. Our documentation is just pretty darn good at Microsoft but just how much and what parts should you read? So one of the things you can do is go to the Azure Stack Hub documentation 
and browse through those. Once there are legitimate prax exams like Measure Up, they are another good way to determine what areas you may need to study more intensely on. A trick I often use is to get answers as quickly as possible in their practice exams and then review the links to not only find the correct answers, but also the links for the incorrect answers. This is because some of the incorrect answers in those, those practice exams may give learning bits of information that could be useful for other possible questions. Getting hands on an Azure Stack Hub development kit requires a certain amount of hardware. But if you happen to have that, or there is one available at your workplace, this will give you a great experience similar to being on an Azure Stack integrated system. It is also possible to build an ASDK in Azure, but this requires a very large virtual machine and can be very costly to run. Matt McSpirit has an Azure Stack POC configurator, which will help to get you up and running quickly. Of course, if your company has an Azure Stack integrated system up and running, that is the best case scenario for getting your hands-on experience. Note the aka.ms slash azslabs link where you can walk through many exercises that you can do on any system that you may have access to. Finally, within the Azure Stack Hub user documentation, there are many quick starts, how-to guides, get started articles, tutorials, and samples. Now that's a lot of different names for, let me show you how to do this. So even if you don't have access to a system at all, even just reading through those documents will help you to study, particularly whenever these docs map back to the exam objectives. Here are some other places to look for help. There is an Azure Stack Hub Foundation Core YouTube channel. And as we mentioned, I will post some of those YouTube icons that map to these sections throughout the video. There is a Udemy uh, Azure AZ 600 certification preparation uh, course that you can also sign up and look for. So you can Bing or Google that. There are GitHub Azure samples for Azure Stack Hub Foundation Core. And also uh, in that GitHub, there's the ASF or Azure Stack Foundations training plus the PowerPoints, and those are all at the beginning that we showed. Those are really fantastic. This is what we've used at Microsoft Services to deliver to our customers to get them ready for Azure Stack. The main difference between those slides and decks that have content versus what we've prepared here is everything in those GitHub repos are really, really great, and you definitely want to go through them. What I tried to focus on here is additionally the newer things that just recently came out. You want to use both these materials when possible. Before we dive in, the thing that I want you to note also is the percentage of each section. The two big areas are provide services and manage infrastructure. So study everything that you need to, but those two right there account for large percentage of the exam. That's all for the intro. Next up, provide services.